And so we have arrived in this city called Yaitse. It's a little town Thank about- Thank you, Lord. Hey peeps, my name is Ilya and welcome to the vlog. It's been a whole three days since the last time I went on a road trip, so it's time to go again. Where's my ride? Yellow! Good morning, honey. Yo, what up? Should be good. Why are we gonna die? No! <laughs> We stopped for a short uh, bathroom and coffee break after about an hour of driving. I think it was an hour. Was it an hour of driving? And so we have arrived in this city called Yaitse. It's a little town Thank about 30,000 people. Um, but it has a lot of historical significance. But best of all, it's got some cool nature. So first things first, obviously, go to see the waterfall. Yaitse has a very colorful history and outstanding natural sites and attractions. Several archaeological sites dating back to the ancient times speak loudly of the town's heritage. In the 14th century, it was the capital of what was then the Kingdom of Bosnia, but the castle was already built by then, though the exact date for its construction is not known. Later, it was conquered by the Ottomans who held it for about six months and was besieged soon after by the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It held an important strategical position in World War II and was heavily involved in the Bosnian War of the last century. Now, it is a popular destination for both local and foreign tourists with something to see and enjoy for everyone. It is sat squarely on the confluence of two rivers resulting in the famous waterfall which adores its center. A quick drive away takes you to the Pliva Lakes filled with small streams and waterfalls and surrounded by lush forests and beautiful parks. I didn't want to risk my camera for this, but this alone is worth the trip. Oh yeah, baby! Woo. His phone was going to die. His phone is going to die. Helia, your phone will die. I love you, Joe. You're crazy. All our van plans, our van plans, our van plans got postponed, but we did decide like I said in the last vlog that we'd be trying to travel a lot more. Heck this yeah. is technically our first little road trip aside from going to the coast last year. So the second. But for this year is the first one. Oh, yeah. But and it's and it's kinda local. Like we wanted to visit all these cool places in, in our country which we haven't been to. I've lived here for thirteen years. She's lived here for all her life and a lot of our friends oh, don't even know wow. about these places. So for starters visit all of them, take pictures, take videos, maybe make a small documentary or something later about it. That is why we're here. And chill and relax. And don't cool and and eat meat. What do you think about this place? I think, I think, I think it's, 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 it's great. Looks like these watermills are still active because one of the little houses said that you can buy flour made in these watermills Watermelon. right now. Watermill alone. We didn't realize these water thingies are all the way by the lake. The lake was for tomorrow. We thought these watermill things were by the waterfall. Piers are here, so we had a nice time walking by the lake, but now it's dinner time and hanging out in the city time. Tomorrow we'll come back here and um, 
hang out by the lake. So we have arrived at our friend's accommodation, who very kindly let us use his place. You happy? Mm. Easy to make her happy. Mm. We're just having a beer in this wonderful place. It's kind of dark, but that's the magic of it. I wish you were here. So this whole trip was made possible thanks to our amazing friend. You know him from our trip to Zagreb. So in November of last year, we went with the drum orchestra to Croatia to participate in their super talent TV show. It was a ton of fun and you can check out that vlog earlier in this channel, but essentially we know each other through the drum orchestra. And our Anytime. talent show, <laughs> talent show. Thanks, man. Trip one, day two is swimming day. Yeah. So the plan for today Look at it. is to swim. Whoop. Sunbathe, repeat, swim, sunbathe, repeat, do a barbecue, maybe catch some Z's, uh, catch a Can frog. Can I put it on your forehead? Oh, he doesn't like your forehead. It's gonna be an exciting oh, day. No way. This awesome step in the lake river thing. It's kind of like a, a massage parlor in nature. Really nice. So we found a lovely place with a lovely river next to those water mills. You like it, honey? Yes. But he don't want to pay. Oh, oh. I scared him. Uh, the barbecue is going. And as we promised, there was no meat. You see, no meat. Uh -uh. These guys came to join us for lunch. I want to see if I can feed it out of my hand. Don't fight. There's enough wet for everyone. No? No takers? There's thunder coming from that direction and the clouds are moving in our direction. So there's only one direction and there's probably gonna be rain. Well, the rain doesn't bother me obviously, but uh, we're trying to have a barbecue, bro. And also I wanted to get some drone shots. So maybe I should do it right now before this actually turns into something serious because this lake is wonderful. It is actually raining a bit, but we should get this done in time so we can eat something that isn't raw today. Way to end the adventure, but life is an adventure in the sunshine and the rain, right? Yep. Excite. Oh. I look like a boy from Sweden. <laughs> Have you ever seen a boy from Sweden? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Bonjour! We're back! <laughs> My back! <laughs> My back! Our back! That makes sense! My back! Our back! <laughs> Our trip has very regrettably come to an end. I'm really hoping we get a chance to do this again sometime soon because exploring places that you know about but have never been to, especially that you can explore with some quality and time on your hands, is definitely on the top of my bucket list. So that's one of the good sides of Corona. Now that not much summer giggy stuff is going on we can get to travel more and do some other things that we don't usually get to do during the summer or else have a car practicing for our van life the whole time just looking on all these side streets by the main road 
and where they go and where you can hide your van and stuff like that so we're gonna have to test that out thank you guys for watching and as always gonna see you next video Ilya where are you going bro what the hell nice cool kid stuff you know <laughs>